Uh, it was a roller coaster ride, you know, this week on Wall Street. Four straight days of 400 point swings, a credit downgrade, an entire economy that doesn't know what is coming next. So, who's to blame for this economic tailspin? And can we expect the markets to be any calmer on Monday morning? So, joining us now, our business panel, the CEO of John Thomas Financial, Tom Obelisis. Thomas, good to see you. Good to see you, too. I enjoyed you in the new Wall Street movie, Thank as a matter of fact. Much. Very <laughs> cool. And of course, we have Nicole and Dennis from the Fox Business Network. Thanks for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, start, let's start with you. Why is it going ah, Why is it going up and down? It's a very news-driven market right now. I mean, you have all the issues regarding the European banks and the debt issue. So it, these rumors become like a self-fulfilling prophecy. So this is a great test to the viability of the EU that if it, they can contain these rumors, we'll have some stability in the marketplace. So it's confidence again. It is. It's all about confidence. I mean, the market works on confidence. I mean, Monday was an historic day. You had a major capitulation day, the worst breath in market history yeah. in over 20 years, and you had twice the daily average in terms of volume. So it shows you people threw in the towel. But Nicole, wh why? Why does our confidence swing back and forth like that? It's such I mean, an is the economy market. bad or not? There, well, there's a lot of things. What happens is they, they compile together. As Tommy was just saying, you know, everybody is worried about Europe. We're worried here at home. We have our own issues. We had our own downgrade. We, worry, we have our debt. And then everybody starts to get nervous, and then everybody starts to pull out. And then you start to get these economic numbers that show weakness here at home. And so it all piles up, and everybody says, you know what? I want to get out, especially the baby boomers who made it through the tech boom, right? They made it through the financial crisis <laughs> and Dow 6,500. And you know what? They get a little nervous. Uh, my mom and dad, everybody else's mom sure. and dad, Nicole, they're I'm not, not necessarily ready to take that risk again. I am a boomer, and I don't, I don't feel any boom at all here. Uh, we, we don't, Dennis, we I'm don't telling you. Know <laughs> who panicked here? We don't yet know whether it was individual investors like, like you and, and, and me or, or whether it was uh, professional institutions. I think this might have been a professional panic. These guys had LSD That's flashbacks to 2008 sure. when when Asian banks start worrying about giving credit to a French bank, and then suddenly someone else doesn't want to give credit, then it cascades, it's fear run amok, and then it's, it's uh, amplified by rage against the machine, the high-frequency traders, and the computer. So it's both emotion that then gets magnified more yeah. than it would have a decade ago by the high-frequency trades in the machine. And so they're like still the, uh, there, and they'll still be there on Monday. Yeah. That's right. right? Yes. The, it's the big guys, have, they've made their, you know, I'm sure Tommy's made a lot of decisions for longer term for some of his less risky clients. You know, my parents everybody else's parents they've made their decision but these high frequency guys they're going to be there volatility but, is here to stay for Tommy, now Tommy can I call you Tommy please uh, Tommy <laughs> no I felt fear for one of the first times in my life when I when I'm talking about money here what does it mean for me I'm not a, a professional investor or anything like that should I be taking money out of the 401k or, or just not touch anything? I don't think so. This is not time to panic. This is time to buy America. I mean, corporations now are sitting on a colossal amount of cash, $2 trillion, 1.4 in the S&P 500 alone. So obviously, you've got to protect your downside. But overall, longer term, if you buy the greatest companies in the market, you're going to do very well. What's going to happen Monday? I think Monday is going to be volatile. If there's no negative news out of Europe, I think it'll be a good day for the market. What's going to happen Monday? I think you're going to see certainly the up and down swings continue. The, the whole thing is the ban in Europe on these financials and that's yeah. going to keep us for a little bit when they lift the ban off those financials get ready for another ride what's going to happen on monday you know what no one remembers predictions unless you're right so i say it's going to start off with a nice run up over 100 points maybe two, and then it's going to plummet down by the time people get hungry and and, and grumpy because they haven't eaten by lunchtime they'll come up about flat up or down within 35 points <laughs> brilliant